Well, today is the day we learn whether we will see tighter restrictions and with it more business closures once again and a change of plans for many school districts. News 8's Evan Narani is staying on top of all these efforts from local leaders and he's live at the county administration building with more. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. We are going to see what will be the future for many businesses today from the state. We'll also hear from the County Board of Supervisors likely later after we get that determination from the state. But today is the day where the newest numbers and the newest assessment from the state of California is given to the County of San Diego that could possibly move us back into that more restrictive purple tier. Now, uh, so far, it's been seven days now, which was the determining factor. Seven days above the seven cases per 100,000 residents needed in order to move us into that more restrictive tier. So we have met the criteria. Last week when that began, the state said they weren't ready to move us into that more restrictive tier. However, today could be a different situation, and the County Board of Supervisors has met on several occasions now to discuss what response the county really can have up against the state making this decision. So the County Board of Supervisors has met twice behind closed doors uh, on Thursday of last week and then again yesterday to discuss any potential legal action against the state. Now. And so it kind of stems around the belief that by leaving out the now more than 800 cases of coronavirus on SDSU's campus, that the county case rate would stay firmly in the lines of tier two, the tier that we are currently in. Now, should the new case rate from the state today put us back at tier one, businesses like restaurants and movie theaters, even gyms, would need to close their indoor services yet again, in some cases for a third time. Uh, another huge impact, of course, schooling in the county. Under tier one, that more restrictive purple tier, Schools that have not opened for in-person instruction will not be allowed to do so until we have stayed firmly back in tier two. So this could be a more than a month process if it does go that long, uh, where even if we return to that tier two, we would have to stay in tier two for a while for those schools to reopen for in-person instruction. However, schools that have already opened as of today will be allowed to remain open under those state guidelines. So still a lot of confusion, not only for parents, but uh, just for people of San Diego County. County, business owners who were here for a rally yesterday. Uh, and then, of course, we'll hear from the County Board of Supervisors as well as to whether or not there will be any legal action taken by the county against the state, possibly to remove those San Diego State University numbers from the case total. So we'll hear from the state on our assessment, likely around the noon hour, and then it will be likely after that that we'll hear from the County Board of Supervisors as to what they'll have to say about it.